Hello everybody and welcome to RuneScape Idle Adventures, a brand new game that just came out in beta on Steam. It is created in collaboration between Hyper Hippo, the creators of Adventure Capitalist, and Jagex, of course, the creators of RuneScape. Now, we have to go ahead and create a character here. We could be that guy or that girl. Well, obviously, I gotta be a guy, because a girl named Kebab just wouldn't make much sense, honestly. And, uh, to start off with a little info, uh, this is an idle game. If you don't know what an idle game is, it's a game where you mostly don't have to interact with it. You can usually leave them and come back later. You don't even have to leave them running most of the time, and you will gain things. And in this case, it is by the people who made Adventure Capitalist which is a very popular Steam game. I've played it myself, although I did eventually stop just because the microtransactions got a bit annoying to me. I'm not going to pay for an idle game. And yeah. But I'm a big fan of Cookie Clicker. I've had that save running for a very long time, so hopefully this is a good game and not bogged down in microtransactions or anything in the future, but, you know, it probably will be. Regardless, let's go ahead and get on here. I have no idea this game literally just came out today, so no idea. Take on a new quest to begin my story, so... Alright. What is this place? Why have the trees fallen and arranged so? Why does the anima curl in knots? Guys, some of you. Uh, sweet Sir Doman's beard, a demon, everyone run for your lives. Two arms, two arms. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to hurt you. I didn't mean to scare you. Whatever you are. Don't even know what a human is, apparently. This guy looks overly happy. The name's Fred. No offense, but it's usually considered good sense to flee at the sight of a giant. Who are you? What are you? Oh, I'm a giant? Uh, I don't look that giant. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't remember. Please tell me where are we and what are you doing? This is Draenor Village, and I'm fishing. I need to catch enough fish to feed my family. Um... Okay. I can sense something in the water. May I try? May I try the fishing? I guess there's a lot of quests in this or something. I'm um, sure. Knock yourself out, I guess. Not sure if my boat can hold you, though. Alright, so I guess I'm a giant, apparently, and... I gotta... fish. And my rewards would be this thing. There's no mouse overs, apparently, so I have no idea what any of these are. Can't click them and find out. Well, that's disappointing. Go! Select the tile and start fishing. Go. There we go. Found the spot to click, so... Yeah, we're fishing. Look at that. We have 1 out of 99 levels. What a runescape thing. See, let's show a new badge. Okay. It seems weird about where you're supposed to click on this. I don't know if that's just the tutorial or what. I can't believe you caught so many fish. I'm not gonna read everything. Uh, start a fire. Yeah. Okay, we got blue anima, apparently. Next reward. Fishing, 100, uh, two, 225 experience. And now we can do fire making. Town tile, that's interesting. Oh yeah, see, you can't click where the number is, I guess. That explains it. Okay, well then we got a fire make. Look at that go. I have no idea how this works. Weird. Like, what is going on here? I have no idea. Okay. Why is that golden? Oh, you can click it to level it up, apparently. You have to do that for some reason. <laughs> I've no all skills. Um, what am I doing now? Okay, now I have to show the entire village my fishing skills, and then he'll show me the fire making that I'm already doing. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be a wondering type of guy, I guess. Anima building. Okay, so then I guess that means we get more people in our village. I guess we're building a village here. But what on here. All right. Well, 
um, fishing. Okay, I'm doing that, apparently. So if I just wait, that'll happen on its own in like two minutes. Use anima urn. What does that mean? Oh, is that people? I guess? That's people that you're showing how to fish? Or something? I have no idea. Give me that. I taught him how to fish, yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, I just like magically gave people the ability to fish. And now I got this, and this, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, so now I can cook, so... I don't understand what I'm doing, honestly. I can level up fire making, though. Okay. That works, I guess. Um, so th that's... Yeah, I guess we got a cooking thing to do. I'm a god or something. I'm not a god. Okay. I'll be helpful. Green is the good option, I guess. Okay. Fine dining for serfs. Got it. Okay, so I have to get 10 people cooking and complete cooking 12 times. So... You just click on that and you get cooking. Alright, so now it's running. And what does that do? I have... What was it? Ten people cooking? I think I have enough for that. Right, so that's how much it's earning of this stuff or something? No, that's the reward, isn't it? No? Okay. It is. What wasn't ten the amount I needed? Um this. Asin. Total level 10 required. Settings, apparently. I have 500 health. I... I don't know, what am I... What am I doing? Oh, there's things here. Right. What the heck is going on here? Quests. There we go. Oh, I have to do both. Okay. Complete cooking so many times. So I just have to wait time, then, I guess. Oh, while we wait, we're at least getting other things done, I suppose. What are these red, red anima things? I, I would guess. Yeah. I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna need some of these people in the future. What is this? Ah, so we're in Draenor Village. We got all these places, and I would guess more coming in the future. Holy cow! Okay, there's a lot going on here. Oh man, what is this? Oh, we have equipment, too, apparently. I have a basic shirt. There, that, that is not basic. What is this? Yeah. Threads of time. That's how you reset. Visit the Pantheon. Reset the world to acquire threads. Yeah. That's a familiar type thing. Is this... What is this? Yeah, there we go. There's, there's a thing that ruins the fun right there. Yeah. Oh well. Why does it have 11? What does that mean? I have no idea. Uh, complete cooking 12 times. What does this mean? What is going on here? So wait, do I have to click it or something? What is going on here? I am so confused. I guess I'm supposed to keep spam clicking it then. I don't know. So, like, the timer is going down, but I actually have to click it to cook it? Or like, building up cooking things that have to be done or something? I have no idea what this is about. But, there we go, we did it. Maybe it's just... I have no idea. Yep, yep, I'm some sort of person guy. The more powerful the anima grows, the more I do stuff. There's one problem sorely troubling them. Cooking plus five. Cooking. Now we can woodcut. But 
attack. No quests active. What is wrong with me? Okay, let's we'll start those up. Oh, we get red stuff now. Combat is red. Makes sense, I suppose. We got a cooking level now. Whatever that does, I have no idea. That check mark. I still don't know what's going on here. It's like these th these are things you unlock. You use that to level up instantly. Testing. Okay. What's the point of putting people on it? Does that increase the amount you earn, I guess? I mean, let's see. Oh yeah, it definitely does. Right, well, I don't know what red ones are for. I don't, I don't have any quests. So, what do I do then? There's no quests and anything. Ah. He's not a fisherman, he's a farmer. Oh, there's spiders everywhere. Um, giant undead spiders. Oh gosh. Helpful. I don't know why you'd be angry about that, but okay. I didn't even read what my plan was, but... Yeah. Okay, so we have to kill five spiders and get 12 citizens to learn attack. Oh gosh. Um, well, okay, I guess we don't have much of a choice here. Right, so. We're fighting now, that's a thing, apparently. And we won. Okay. There is a lot of not idling in this idle adventure here. I mean, it doesn't appear to be even attacking me, so. Is that it? Was that all I needed to do? How many did it say I had to kill? I have no idea. Oh gosh, now we're fighting a rat. Rat is gigantic, and now we got a crawling corpse torso. That's great. He has a magic gaze. Oh gosh, I actually took damage. Uh oh. This wave was maybe not the best idea. Be fighting here. Why is he not dead? Die. Get out of here. Scratch. Scratch attack, use slash attack. It's stronger. Everyone who plays Pokemon knows that. Okie dokie, magic gaze again. This guy is only a one star, I suppose. Or I am, I don't know. Is this giving me attack experience? It is, but not much. And I am taking a lot of damage here. So that's fun. I don't think I should go after the next wave. Just something telling me that. Okay, we got that. Two down. Green! Whatever that means. Why is it green? What's going on here? All right. Gotta do 12 of these guys, apparently. A lot. Hooray! Quest complete. Yep. With its own protectors. Oh, several minutes. We're safe. I'm the hero. Oh, I got a bronze dagger. Apparently it has... What? How does... What? Whatever. I'm confused about how a dagger has any effect on farming, but... Okay, yes, I will equip the item. There we go. Okay, well, we're better at farming now, apparently. Maybe I should actually put someone into farming. It might be a smart thing, I don't know. It is or not, honestly. And then we got things going on here again. Still don't even know. I don't even know. Okay, we got a thing. Adventurers don't stick around and drain her for long. That is the truth, unless they're chopping willows. Um, a thousand cabbages. Yeah, I'm gonna be sassy about that. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay, so we have to complete farming six times, get 16, and complete cooking 15 times. All right. Complete the final quest here to unlock Lumbridge Castle. Right, so I think we'll unlock Lumbridge and that'll be it for this trial. Uh, this is really gonna take a while to get used to. Huh. Oh, can you only work on one skill at a time? That's what 
But I'm working on two. Don't know. Oh, I guess... Okay, I get it now. I understand. I'm working on it, but they are also working on it. And they're green because they're for the quest. Okay, I get it all now. I understand. Still don't know why you have to click to level up, but... I guess it's so you never level up when you're not paying attention. And then not realize it. I suppose. But yeah, okay, I understand how the, these things work now. It's glowing because I'm working on it, personally. Got it, got it, got it. Let's get to Lumbridge. Okay, now that I understand that a little bit, yeah, I can see this being an okay idle game. It just sucks it has microtransactions. But those are in everything nowadays, such as life. Still, this is the sort of thing I'm surprised more games don't do, is have little spin-off things like this. It's not that hard to develop, really. I'm kind of glad RuneScape's doing stuff like that. Expanding beyond its borders. Which started way back in the day on Fun Orb with the uh, Armies of Gilinor, which was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that game. I have to go back to it. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, that's done, so now we have to farm. Farming it up, I guess. What I'm not sure is... Buying stuff feels so random, like, there's just numbers you can click on and things happen. S being strategic about all this is gonna take some time. Does buying more people speed the time up, you think? Probably not. It's probably what levels do, right? Hmm. I don't know. Burning a lot of those. I could. This is farming. So right now we take, holy cow, we take 40 seconds to farm. So we go in here, we go to farming, and we level up, and we level up again. That didn't seem to speed it up at all. I'm not sure what the point of... Well, I guess... I guess the point is that there's something that you unlock at level 5. We're only level 3 now, so that sucks. Yeah, we'll see. It was 38 seconds, I think, was it? So if it's less, then we'll know it actually has some benefit. Otherwise, I just wasted all my monies. My anima monies. Nope, it didn't help at all. That sucks. Well, anyway, I guess... Sure, let's get really good at hunting right now, and woodcutting. And I can't afford anything now. Except for that. Because I'm about to go idle as soon as we get to Lumbridge, so might as well boost up my peoples. Hopefully there's no more quests after this. Okay. All skills. I wonder how many skills are in the game. It looks like you only get nine skills per town, but I'm assuming each town has different skills. It seems kind of weird that your combat skills that are available are chosen by the town you're in. Hmm. I do not know. Apparently I leveled up a combat level because I've gained ten maximum health as well. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's see here. Um... It's a time. I don't want to. That is a very nice, shiny effect back there, though. I like it. Right. Farming citizen cost minus 50%. Hopefully that's minus. It's two dashes. Attack output. Max HP. Oh, that's where my HP came from. Okay. I didn't gain a combat thing. Well, there we go. Right, I should have done that earlier, but oh well, it works. Save this time in the end. Yeah, I understand now. This is like the thing in Adventure Capitalist that makes you go really fast on, I think it's Mars or something. Anyway, um, is, is that quest complete? Oh, get 16 citizens to learn farming. Well, dang it, I spent all my money. Oh, crap. Go to level 25 required. Then again, you only get 9 skills here. Maybe there's only 9 skills total. That'd be kind of strange, wouldn't it? I feel like that's not the case, though. But who knows? Anyway, as soon as we can afford these things. Uh, hurry up. This is the problem with idle games. They're not let's playable. That's why this is just a kebab tries thing. 
not going to turn this into a series for obvious reasons. wonder how you... I guess it's just in order, probably? Oh, I've unlocked that as a thing I can do? I guess. Interesting. So there's combat areas, and then there's towns. That's weird. It looks like White Wolf Mountain is a town? Hmm. Gunner's Groom. Okay, we can afford another one. Oh, this is gonna take forever. It's gonna take so long. Can't, can we, what can we do? We could go and do a thing at the uh, combat -y place. We haven't tried out our combat. What am I doing? Since we got our new dagger. So let's go ahead and try it. We're on wave one of six, I guess. Change skill, go. Can't have more than one skill because we only have attack. All right, so I'm stronger this time, but yeah. I wonder what happens if you get through all six waves. Probably not much, but we will see, I suppose. I guess this isn't actually that helpful because we're just getting the red ones and we don't even have a use for those. Except I guess maybe you use them for buying more people in attack, I guess. The red anima is evil, combat -y anima, and blue is good, gathering and production skill anima. We are demolishing these guys with our new weapon though, that's for sure. They don't even know what happened to them. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah, combat, I gotta say, not that interesting. So we can turn on auto, turn off auto, I don't know. What happens if you turn off auto? Like, do we just sit there not able to attack? And then you click it? Okay. Makes sense, I suppose. Figuring things out as we go. Hopefully when we get out of here. Okay, we did a little bit better this time around. We're still at 400 something right now. Now we're at 386. So yeah, we did just slightly better than we did previously. Let's go back to the town then. Okay. For those, we're almost there, but we are actually so far away at the same time. Oh gosh, that is expensive as heck. If that's not the last quest, I'm gonna be very sad. Extremely, extremely, extremely sad. But this is almost ready, and that will definitely help out. Because this gets us 4,000 each time we need to do this. Each time we use it. It lasts 16 seconds, so that'll get us through this like two or three times. That's pretty good. Pretty good indeed. So there's probably certain ones of these are, that are actually more efficient than others as it usually goes. What am I working on? Crap, I don't know which one I was working on. Was it cooking? Either way, we got money incoming. Go, go, go. You can do it. Okay, we got, dang it. Still got like a minute left until that goes through. Nothing else to do. We not gain any levels. I still don't know why it's exclamation pointing there at level one. You will gain valuable bonuses such as, oh, each time you level up, you get decreased citizen costs or increased production. Hmm. Okay. So you can continue to level up on the skill that you're working on. Oh, I get it. You only gain experience for the skill you're working on. That makes sense. Duh. I didn't even realize that. I was just wondering how it was so slow. But no, that makes sense now. But you can only gain one level while you're offline, so that's how they make you actually check back and not just leave the game running for five months and then come back. Which, given the exponential nature of idle games, doesn't really work that well, but this is, you know, one way to do things. Anyway, let's go ahead and do that. Quest complete! Okay... Praise Brassica Prime, yes. There we go, we did a thing, we did another thing. We got construction and ranged. All right, we can actually do things. Let's get people in there. Dang it, we got another thing to do. Um, head to Lumbridge. So we're doing a lot of things in Lumbridge. There we go, we unlocked Lumbridge. 
Okay. Yes. Go. All right, here we are in Lumbridge. So in Lumbridge, we get Dungeoneering. That's a bit unusual. I guess I'll buy one each to get started on that. So yeah, these are all new skills, so we're level one with no experience. Holy cow, Dungeoneering takes forever. So that's one that you would uh, probably want to AFK in, because then you gain a level and come back to it. That seems like a thing. So I guess each town has its own music from the game, pretty much. It's not bad. Got construction and all those in my list now, so that's good. I could level up already if I wanted to. I really want to. But anyway, yeah, this is RuneScape Idle Adventures. I didn't expect this video to be so long, but there's a lot to show here. And this is just the first beta release. It's been in, like, a limited beta, but I didn't get into that, so that's why I had to wait until the actual beta release. You can get it for free on Steam. I don't think it's anywhere else, but if I'm wrong, I'll put it in the description, I suppose. I don't think I'm wrong. And yeah, it's definitely worth a look if you like idle games and RuneScape. I don't know that there's ever going to be any benefit to playing it for RuneScape players, but regardless, it's another idle game, and you can never have too many of those, right? It would take a lot of idle games to fill up your day if that's all you played. But yeah, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!